Right, let's go. Standing up, upright, nice and tall. I want you to take, take your arms slowly up, reaching above your head. Interlock them above your head. Stretch. Stretch them out. So lengthen up the spines, push the neck up towards the ceiling. Nice big reach. And exhale, fold it forwards nice and slowly, slowly, slowly. Roll it down. When your hands get to your toes, just shake out your arms, relax it, shake out the wrists, shake out the arms, pedal the legs slightly. So pedaling out your legs, nice and easy, shaking out the arms, shake out the wrists, just hang here for a few seconds. Put your hands as close to the floor as you possibly can. And then just walk your hands slowly to the left hand side. Just feel a little stretch into the glute, into your quadratus, into your QL. And slowly walk your hands across to the right. Feel the stretch now on your left hand side. Just keep hanging over nice and easy. Walk your hands back to the middle. And slowly roll yourselves up one vertebra at a time. Slowly, slowly, slowly come up. Bring your arms up with you. Push them all the way up towards the ceiling. Big stretch, go up onto your toes. Hold it on your tippy, tippy toes. Keep it right up. Hold it there. And slowly lower yourselves. Bring your arms down. Interlock your hands behind your back. Now, keeping yourselves upright, lift your hands up as far as you can behind you. Keeping your feet together, sucking in those bellies. And as you exhale, reach forward, just slowly lean forward. Bring those arms over. Just breathe into it nice and easy. And slowly relax your fingers, relax your hands, bring your arms over towards the floor, wrap them around you, and just hold onto your scapula with your hands if you can, and pull your scapula apart, just keep hanging, and I want you to slowly start pedaling your legs, so just lifting those heels one at a time, nice and easy, keep holding, pulling your scapula apart, And release, shake up those arms, relax the shoulders, bring your hands towards the floor, and slowly walk your hands away from you. So drop down to your knees, drop down onto your knees, hands shoulder width apart, and I want you to slowly lower yourself down to the floor. Right, from here, push yourself up, keeping your knees on the ground. Lift yourself up, tuck your toes in underneath you, push your bum up into the air, into a downward facing dog, and slowly start walking your hands back towards your feet. And roll yourselves up, arms up towards the ceiling, big stretch up on your toes, and in one movement, folding forward, hands down to the floor, roll yourself, walk your hands out, knees down, slowly lower yourself to the ground, slowly, 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 slowly. Right, keeping the knees on the ground, push yourself up. From here, you can keep your knees on the ground or you can go up into a push-up position Knee to elbow, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, ten, push your bum up into the air, downward facing dog, and slowly walk your hands back, walk your hands back into a forward fold, and slowly roll yourselves up. Arms up, big stretch. 
and come to a stand right sideways. So if your feet were together, I want you to step quite wide apart. I want you to fold forward, put your hands on your hips, you can fold forward. Feel that stretch, put your hands towards the floor, just straight in front of you, directly underneath your shoulders. And now I want you to walk your hands towards the left, nice and slowly, just feel that little stretch. Stretch it through the right side, in your adductors, and slowly walk your hands across to the right side, keeping those legs nice and straight. And back to the middle. Now I want you to sit your butt backwards, so push it backwards into like a squat position and then lunge it to your left and then take it across to your right keep your hands on the ground, bum back lunge it across to the left and back to the right, two more across to the left and across to the right bring it back to the middle, bum back Sit yourselves up, keep your legs in the squat position, hands on your hips, hold it here, and straighten the legs, stand up onto your toes, and slowly back down. Right, stand up, shake out those legs, shake them out, I want you to shake out your arms, relax the shoulders. Right, back to the bottom of your mat, reach your arms up, roll it forward hands to the ground, walk your hands out, stay in the push-up position if you can, otherwise knees go down onto the mat, opposite arm and leg, so you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, five more, six, seven, Eight, nine, one more, ten, right, bum goes up into the air, push, downward facing dog, walk your hands back, slowly, 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 forward fold, walk your hands forward, lower yourself to the ground, Push yourself back up, walk your hands back, stay in a forward fold, walk your hands out, stay in the push up position, lower your knees if you need to, knees to elbow, 10, here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, one more, ten. Slowly walk your hands back towards your feet, pushing your bum up into the air, hang here for a few seconds. Slowly start rolling yourself up on vertebrae at a time. Arms up towards the ceiling, big stretch up on your toes, and relax. Right, shake it out. And this is what we're going to do six exercises, four rounds. First two rounds are the same. The second two rounds are the same, 40 seconds workload, so you do as many reps as you can in 40 seconds. The first round, always take it slightly easier, just getting the heart rate up some more, and then you can pick up the second round. So, first exercise, you've got two choices. You can either do push-ups, a full push-up, or you can put your knees on the ground, or you can actually go flat and then just lift yourself up and then go back. So, the first option is full push-up, Second option is knees. Third option is actually lie flat, face down. Just put your hands here and then just push yourself up nice and easy and back. Even if you're just lifting your upper body off the ground into a bit of a cobra, baby cobra, you don't have to go all the way up, okay? So whatever you can manage. 40 seconds, are you ready? Hope so, right. Take yourselves down.
So, 40 seconds begins in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Right, stand it up. Here we go. Feet shoulder width apart. So, feet shoulder width apart. Make sure your toes are pointing slightly outwards. You're going to squat. The first thing to move back is your bum. Your bum moves backwards. Three, Forty seconds. Two, Hands on your side if you want to, set it back, or you can push your hands up to the front. Hold it at the bottom, just for a fraction. Make sure your knees are not collapsing inwards, so make sure your knees are tracking straight over your toes, sucking your bellies, that's it. Right, and relax. Grab your stretch, grab your elastic band or your weights. Kickbacks this time. So, wrap it around nice and tight. Feet shoulder width apart. You can kick it back like that. Squeeze and keeping your elbows by your side. Or you can grab some weights. Here we go. Start pushing. So hold it when your arm gets straight at the back, hold it for a few seconds. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those triceps at the back. Just hold it, just a few seconds, just a second. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, relax. Right. Forward lunges. Here we go. So feet shoulder with the part. Track it straight forward. Keeping the body upright. Drop the back leg. Alternating. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. So make sure you don't push that knee past the front of your toes. Try to keep as close to about a 90 degree bend in the front. Right, relax, shake it out, grab your elastic band or your weights again. This time, keep the bodies upright, suck your bellies in. You're going to do bicep curls. So you can either stand on the band with one leg or two legs. Here we go, turn it up. So make sure when you do this, you get to the top, you squeeze that bicep. Take it down, squeeze the bicep. So you want to try to turn your pinky into your shoulder. That way you get hold of both heads. Ten more seconds. Right, relax those, put them down. Okay, this time you're going to do imaginary skipping. So, skipping like this, nice and steady. Are you ready? So, imaginary skipping, try to get a bit of flexion in those ankles. Make sure you push up and down. 
Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Right, check it out. We're going into a one minute plank. So grab a drink of water. You've got two options. You can either do plank like this for one minute, otherwise, take it down, keep it up for as long as you can, and when you need to, you can drop down onto your knees. Okay. So try sucking those bellies, focus on your breathing. Go down, here we go. Three, two, one. Take it up. One minute. Focus on your breathing. Draw that belly button in. Twenty more seconds. Ten more. Keep holding it. Draw that in. Three, two, one, relax. Right, back up. Actually, don't get back up, get ready, you got push-ups. So back to your push-ups, you can either do the ones keeping your body flat, full push-ups, or you can do um, just baby cobra, all right? So, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, hop, let's go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back up. Squat position. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing slightly outwards. So now, 90 degree bend in the knees. When you take it up, like, try to push it up, explode up a little bit, squeeze the glutes at the top end. Here we go, down, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads, be careful, you do not want to lock out the knees when you get to the top, so keep the knees soft, just push it up, squeeze the bum, squeeze the quads, squeeze the hammies, keep it going. Three, two, one. Right, get your elastic band, get your little weights, tricep kickbacks. So the goal here is when you get to the back here like this, you want to be squeezing. Keep it quite level with the upper body. Squeeze out the back and release. Here we go. Let's go. That's it, you guys looking good. Carl, try to flatten that back. Hold it, squeeze it all the way to the back. Straighten that arm. Get that arm as straight as you can. That's it. Squeeze that tricep, squeeze it. Three, two, one. 
Release, right, lunges, forward, here we go. Please make sure you're drinking enough water, tracking those legs straight forward, okay. 90 degree bend in the knees, you can pick up the pace now a little bit more, as soon as you've got the heart rate going, the body's warmed up, so increase the pace, here we go. The focus is to drop the back knee to the ground. Don't let it touch the ground, but you want it to go back, stay, keep the body upright. You can see how my body stays upright, no leaning forward. Keep it up. Ten more. Two, one, and relax. Right, check it out. Get your elastic again. Bicep curls. So if you stood with one leg in the beginning, use the other leg this time. Get enough resistance. Pull it in. So the focus is to twist the wrist. Here we go. Let's work. Keep your elbows by your side. Don't let your elbows get away from your side. That's it. You don't want to push them forward. Keep the elbows tucked right next to your side. The upper arm does not move. I see some elbows pushing forwards like this. I don't want to see elbows coming forward. Tuck it in. Back down. Here we go. Skipping. 40 seconds. So yay. It's all about pushing up off those ankles. You don't want the heel to really hit the ground, okay? So try to keep them up, loading and unloading. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Right, three, two, one, rest. Right, get ready. We're going down for plank. Plank for one minute, holding it. Suck in, keep a 90 degree bend here, 90 degree bend here. Draw the belly in towards your spine. Keep your feet short with the part. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Focus on your breathing. Drawing that belly in, keeping those bodies upright, nice and flat. Each time you go out, just draw that belly in towards your spine a little bit more. And you just feel that, that abdomen just contracting and getting nice and tight. 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Keep holding. You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Relax. Good job. Right, so if you've got little weights, grab your little weights. Grab your elastic. Second round, two rounds. First exercise, wrap it around you. We're going to do some punching. So you should be nicely warmed up now. Hold on to your elastic. Punch, 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 punch. Come on. 40 seconds, put a little rotation, try and rotate the torso, keep your hips facing forward, try not to rotate the hips, keep it going, come on. If you've got weights in your hand, please be careful, this can take it out on the shoulders, 
So if the weights become too much, then just drop the weights. Well, put them down at least. And carry on. 10 more seconds. Come on. Pick it up. Linda, push straight. Don't push across you. Punch straight, straight, straight. That's it. Relax, right, running on the spot, 40 seconds. So, leg straight up, opposite arm to leg. Try to lift the knees as high as you can. Okay. So it's all about tempo, nice and steady, you ready? We're going in three, two, one, let's go. So once again here, make sure are your arms going straight in front of your shoulders. No crossing like this. Keep it going straight up. Arms straight like that. Knees up. That's it. 10 more seconds. Come on. Two, one. Right. If you've got an elastic, Grab your elastic, we're going to do rows, so feet shoulder width apart. If you've got weights, you can do it with weights. What I want you to do is bend over, flatten out the back, nice and steady, row it up. Squeeze shoulder blades down, shoulder blades down. Keep this. You want to work harder, shorten the elastic. Keep the back nice and flat, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Squeeze them when you get to the top. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Release. Right. Get ready. Side to side lunges. So I want to keep the, the glutes loaded, keep the body loaded, take it down, 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 down. So no coming up to a straight standing position, Sweet. suck your belly in, are you ready? Two, one, let's go, down, down, nice and steady on the first one. Please, if you're experiencing any pain or discomfort, you need to stop it straight away, okay? Side to side, keep it here. Suck those bellies in. Fifteen more. Three, two, one, rest. Right, so now we're going to do a clean. So, Stand feet together, pull into your elastic. Make sure you've got a bit of resistance. You're gonna reach down and you're gonna throw it up. Reach down to your toes, throw it up. Three, down to your toes, one, straight up. One, Keep your hands as close to your body as you can. You mainly want your resistance from here to there. Down here to there, that's where all your resistance is. Try to keep your knees as close together as you can. Push it straight up. See so you can see a little external rotation. Take it up. Externally rotate the shoulder, throw the hands up. 10 more seconds. jumps get ready so what you're going to do is you're actually going to lift yourself off if you're going to do any sort of kettlebell exercise in strong glutes so we're going to squat down up ready let's go up so use your hands you want to generate momentum throw yourself up off the ground So remember to squat backwards, use those arms, drive it up. 
Come on. Get those legs. Load them. Take them up. Three, two, one. Shake them out. Grab a quick drink. So we're loading these legs, you're going to work them half squat like this, holding it here, one minute, check out the legs, are you ready, three, two, one, let's go, take it seated, suck in your bellies, bums back, hold it. Jenny, stand upright, you're folding forward, back's rounded. Twenty more seconds. Keep holding, keep holding. 10 more, try to lift yourself, your body is up a little bit, you want to keep the legs bent, they should start to shake, 3, Three 2, two one. 1, how this good to you, <laughs> right, get ready, we got punching again, so the punch is to punch straight in front of you, have that resistance, get ready to work, 3, Two, one, let's go. Hips stay forward. Punch straight out in front of you. So you just want to rotate your upper torso. I don't know this. That doesn't help. You want to get those obliques working as well. You're working at your core at the same time. Try to keep that pelvis facing forwards. Three, two, one, rest. Right, back to running on the spot. Arms straight out in front of you, high legs, 40 seconds. Please make sure you drink enough water when you can. Here we go, in, three, two, one. That's it. Looking good. Halfway. Three, two, one. Rose. Back to your rose. Elastic band. Come on, no resting, you want to keep the, keep the heart rate up, keep that workload up, push your bum back, so bum goes back, now short resistance, elbows to your side, squeeze, squeeze, shoulder blades together, look forward, look directly in front of you, don't drop your heads like this, and don't lift your head up like that, head neutral position, Looking forward, you want to keep those elbows as close to your sides as you can. Just squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one. Release it. Right, so taking it low, side to side, keeping those backs flat. So get your legs quite nice with the part. So you want a big stretch in them. Push the bum backwards first up, sit it down, side to side. Here we go, keep pushing. So you want to try to keep both feet flat 
You want them planted into the mat. Keep it here. Just nice and easy. Suck those babies in. Push, push, side to side. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Back up, right. Here we go for your cleans. So feet together. The most important part of your clean is when you get to here, you want the arms to be able to rotate backwards and push straight up, okay. Here we go. So from your toes, bring it up, push it straight up. Keep your hands as close to your upper body as you can. Imagine a straight line, straight up. Push the bum back, fold up. Bum goes back. That's the first one. Don't bend your knees. Bum back and up. Ten more seconds. Bum back, then you bend your knees and up. Bum back, knees bend, up. Three, two, one. Right, jumps. So load and unload. So load it, unload, load, unload. The more you load, the more you can unload. So the deeper the squat, the more you can jump up. Are you ready? Three, two, one, here we go. seconds, shake out the legs, right, half squat, last one, core after this, are you ready, make sure you get a quick drink, right, two, one, come down, Suck those bellies in. Focus on your breathing. Relax up the bodies. Suck that belly button into the spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, stretch it up. Shake him out. Right, let's get our core exercises done. So, sitting down, shake out your legs. Right, so we're gonna do some bridges. So, bend the knees, slowly roll yourselves to the ground. Backs flat. Keep your, your feet about a, a, fist, a fist away from your buttocks. Pushing your bum up into the air. Suck in that belly button and lift your left leg. Release. Two, right leg. Release. Three. Four. Five. Keep that bum. Six, activate those glutes. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more, ten, and release. Right, back down. 
Keep those knees bent. Just align them to your right. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground, hands behind your head. And I want you just to easy crunch up. One. If you've got any back pain or any discomfort, please stop it straight away. But you want to feel that oblique contracting. Just crunching it up. Three, two, one. Swap legs, other side. Here we go, crunch it up. Bring yourselves back up, hug your knees into your chest, put your arms straight and lean back into boat pose, lifting your legs, holding it here, sucking your bellies, 30 seconds, keep it going. Focus on your breathing, try to put your hands in line with your, with your shins, your lower leg. If you want to make it more advanced, you can straighten out your legs and hold it like this for the last 10 seconds. Keep it going, suck in those bellies, three, two, one, and relax. Fold your legs, just fold over the front, shut it down, grab your breath for a few seconds, and bring it back, right, onto your back, straight back bridges. So the key with the bridges is to suck, tighten your glutes at the top, keep them tight, and try not to let your back sag. All right, so taking it up. One. Only change on my count. Two. Three. Four. Five. Squeeze the butt. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Right, back down, hands behind your head, drop your knees to the right, shoulders flat on the ground, crunch, one. Swap sides, knees to the other side, crunch it. So you want to feel your obliques here like they're really contracting, working as hard as you can. No pulling on the head. And relax, right, pull the knees into your chest. Sitting up nice and tall, and lean it back, taking it into a boat pose. Arm straight, holding it for 30 seconds. Those who want to make it harder now, you can take it up. It's 25 seconds still to go. Three, two, one, stretch. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and release. Fold the legs in front of you, fold at the top, reach forward, drop your head, stretch it out. Just focus on your breath for a few seconds. And slowly, slowly bring yourselves back upright and stretching out right. Sit up nice and tall, so push your legs straight in front of you. How are you all feeling? All good? Good job. 
Right, we're going to do a quick five minute stretch. So those of you who need to get off to work and get off, have a quick shower and get to work. So pulling your right leg in and cross it over the top of your left leg. Put your right hand by your side. Reach up with your left arm as high as you can and cross it in front and twist to look back over your right shoulder. And come up, reach both arms right up and twist across to the left. Jeez, did you hear that? And release, bring your arms right up and drop them down to your side. Swap legs, pull the left one in, fold it on top of your right. Left hand to your left side, right arm straight up in the air. And as you twist towards your left, pull, keeping that back as upright as you can. Look over your left shoulder. And release to bring it up. And twist across to your right hand side. Keep yourself as upright as you can. So try to keep yourself upright, don't fall down, keep it up, and twist. And release, bring your arms back up, release that leg, and fold forward, grabbing all of your big toes, stretching out those hamstrings. If you can't reach your big toes, just put your hands on your knees, on your shins, wherever you're comfortable, try to keep the back as flat as you can and push it forward, look up, straight in front of you. Stretch those hammies. From here, I want you to bring your left leg in, bring your right leg in, bring them all the way, put your heels together, the soles of your feet together, sit nice and upright, Bhattakonasana, sit up nice and tall, and now I want you just to shake, beat up and down those. So flap your wings, the legs, just pulse them up and down. And release. Now what I want you to do is stick your thumbs into the soles of your feet, open your soles of the feet like a book, and now try to stick your head in your soles of your feet. Just reach it forward, rounding your back. And slowly, slowly release. Take your arms up, grab all of your toes again. Make sure you've got some space behind you. Lift your legs up, roll backwards. And put yourselves down to happy baby pose. Let me do this. This is a better view. Happy baby pose. So you want to pull your knees to your armpits. Keep your tailbone down. You want to try to keep your back flat into the mat. Pull those knees, get them as close to your armpits as you can. Keep pulling it down. Open up those abductors. And release, lowering your feet to the ground. Holding onto your knees, bring yourselves upright. Coming up into a bit of a lunge. Just push forward into the hip flexor. 90 degree bend, keep your body upright. Focus on tucking your, so you want to do a posterior pelvic tilt. So you want to turn your tailbone forward, push it forwards, and feel that stretch go straight through that hip flexor. If you want to make that stretch even better, now reach that right arm up, whichever is the bent leg to the back. Reach it up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Feel that stretch go from here all the way up through your side. Reach it as high as you can. And take that same arm, swirl it back, rock forward over your knee, grab hold of it, get into a nice quad stretch, put your left arm on top of your left thigh.
and release. Right, rock back, swap legs, right leg forward, leg straight down, 90 degree bend, tuck that tailbone under, posterior pelvic tilt, get a straight line, squeeze, get a good stretch into that hip flexor, all of us cyclists need to do this big time. When you can, reach that arm up, stretch, reach as high as you can. When you're ready, roll over your knee, reach it back, lifting up the knee. Grab all of that foot, lean forward onto your thigh. Now stretch into the quad. Right. Release that leg slowly down to the ground. Hands down to the ground. Legs back. Tuck your toes under. Push yourselves up into a downward facing dog. Walk out the legs. Just pedal out the feet. Couple little stretches into those calves. And slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. Come into a forward fold, just hang, relax. Shake out those wrists, shake out those arms, relax your shoulders. And slowly, slowly roll yourselves up. One vertebra at a time. Take your arms up towards the ceiling. Big stretch up onto your toes. And well done, everyone. Well done, guys.